everybody. I'm the Boomer Millennial. And today we're gonna do a little uh We're gonna do a little car shopping. It's Saturday, April 2nd. The little baby is down and out for a nap. And we're gonna kill a little time here this afternoon. Uh before we do some cooking and cleaning. Just got done lifting a little bit. About a week into the Getting back on weights and chest day today. Bold move on a Saturday. Um, felt good though. Uh, the noob gains are a real thing. If you've ever lifted and or thinking about getting into lifting, the first first week is not super fun, but then like the first three months is awesome because you get really strong really fast. And if you're super scrawny like me. You get them, you get them gains real quick, real quick. But yeah, Saturday. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, let's do a little, little car shopping, little car shopping. Um, this is not real shopping, uh, or real car shopping. I should say this is. Um, kind of a uh, hobby of mine that I like to shop while uh, or for cars that are not necessarily something I'll buy, uh, but it's it's fun to look at. Um, I get a big kick out of um, anything that is uh, collectible and at the same time uh, drivable. Um, I don't want a garage queen. Um, I want something that is fun and um, will still uh, hold its value or gain its value with some of the stuff that we'll look at here. So I might have to move my I'm trying to figure out how I should do this. I do right in the middle. You guys can still see the price on both pretty easily. We're not going to go too far into any um, descriptions or anything. Just kind of cruise through really quick. Old Ferraris. Yeah, don't get me going. They're beautiful cars. They... Still, obviously, certain ones, anyway, hold their value. $326,000 for this dyno. Um, they're just not fast. I mean, at the time, they were fast, but there's nothing really exciting about them as far as the driving experience, um, other than saying, oh, man, 1972, this was amazing. But relative to anything new now, they're just... Not comfortable, not fast. I probably wouldn't fit in this car. I'm only 6'1". Um, 850 CSI. Only 225 of these built for the US. Yeah, 146K. Five liter V12, six speed manual. It's a driver's car. Ten thousand miles. Beautiful. Maybe we'll just do a little of this where I don't get to the price. I can't see the price, and we'll kind of guess together. Uh, ninety-five, nine, eleven, manual, rear-wheel drive. Uh, we're closing today. My guess is at sixty k, seventy-five. Uh, 911s, especially the uh, 994s like this, are wildly expensive compared to like the next gen, the 996, um, which is what I have wanted for a while. Pre-COVID, they were you could get a good manual four-wheel drive uh, Carrera 4S, um, 
thirty thousand dollars now you're in that 50 60k for a you know a 40 thousand mile car um turbo which is basically the same thing except more power um i would say a good one is 60 k plus um you know for anything under 70 thousand miles which is pretty crazy for an early 2000s car um but now these cars, especially like the turbos, are at the time they were a supercar, and they still are quite fast, um, especially if you get them flashed or do any simple mods on them. You can really get some fast cars. All wheel drive, manual transmission. They're never going to slip out or anything on the rear wheels. Um, kind of line sportsmobile camper conversion, 40k. That's a lot for an old beater van. But I guess it's four-wheel drive and camper van life. Uh, Escort L diesel five-speed. Is this an import? It's got to be an import. Let's see how many miles. Doesn't say. Um, 6K. 7500 bucks. Um WRX STI super valuable. I'm not surprised this one is 30k. Um it will probably go for 40 depending on how many miles are on it. Uh jeez, 90,000 miles. It's crazy. Again, real driver's car, fast for the time. Um New ones have not gotten significantly faster, but they're still that rally inspiration is street racers just absolutely love it. Plus it's all wheel drive and fairly reliable. Speaking of unreliable, um, a Lotus 1960 collector car doesn't get me going. Corvettes don't get me going. Anything American muscle really is not great. Um, they have a lot of power, but it's almost impossible to keep the power on the ground, um, especially around corners. They're heavy. Handling is quite bad. Um, it's 454 big black is, um, a beast. Gas mileage is great. Honda Civic 1975. Don't really care. Four grand. Mercury, don't care. Mazda Ranger, the B3000. Mazda and, and Ford had a joint venture in the early 2000s where Mazda rebranded the Ranger and sold it with pretty good success, I think. Um, manual transmission. Three liter V six must have low miles for being at ten thousand miles or ten thousand dollars, eighty thousand dollars. I will drive or four wheel drive trucks. Doesn't matter what it is, you're gonna get ten grand for it. Caddy, a caddy at one point. Deville DTS had the big hood ornament on the front. Oh. Boomer brown exterior, like all the grandpas had the kind of gold brown exterior. Boomer brown tan seats, airbags in the back, suspension, rode like a dream. Super fast, uh, super unreliable engine. Ah, I shouldn't say super unreliable. Uh, fairly unreliable engine and transmission at about 100K that have a solenoid that would go like that would... It would actually be the solenoid that would turn on the overdrive to get a little bit better gas mileage. You'd go from like 18 to 22. Um, and that went in my car and it was like a $4,000 fix. Complete engine out, transmission out of the vehicle to replace just a little teeny tiny solenoid. So I drove it for a long time without overdrive. E63S wagon. One of the best cars in the world right now, I think. 
all wheel drive, 600 horsepower, uh, V8. This one has got 2000 miles on it. It's basically brand new. Mm, I would say an SRP on this, depending on how it was optioned. They're already above that. Uh, it's got the carbon fiber trim, tons of packages. Maybe they're at about MSRP. Wonder if they have that in the in the pictures. Sticker price. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. One hundred twenty-seven thousand was the original MSRP, and we're thirty k above that right now. Got an hour left to go. I bet they'll get 180 for this car. Um, again, right now it's one of the best cars ever. Practicality, all wheel drive, all wheel drive wagon. You can put your dog in the back. Um, haul the entire family. Launches like a beast. Uh, sounds amazing. Looks amazing. Um, just a great car. If you can afford it. And if you want to drive a super high performance wagon, there's not a lot of people who actually want, they think they do, but they don't. $130,000 wagon that's super fast, super loud. You can have it in comfort mode and it drives pretty quietly, but interior's magnificent. Yeah, if you wanted to buy one today, I'm sure they're. I'm sure you can't buy one from a dealership. They don't make too many of them. The Lotus Exige Trackstar, um, 1.8 liter. I don't know much about any Lotus to be honest. Uh, they're super unreliable. Good looking cars. Like I said, this one's kind of a track track beast. But I'd never get one. Again, reliability, CTSV, and it's a Hennessy. This is an interesting one. Uh, so it's got the 6.2 liter V8. I don't know what the Hennessy option is. Obviously, it's a tune for more horsepower. Must be 650 HPE. See if they talk about it anyway. NSC HPE 650. It doesn't say. Either way, another wagon that's a beast of a car. Um, I'd be terrified to drive one out of warranty. But, you know, you compare it to that Mercedes wagon we just looked at. This one's at 60K. That one was 100K more. Um, you get all-wheel drive and the nice Mercedes ownership experience. But this thing is, again, probably louder. Um Rear wheel drive, so probably more fun to drive if you were to ever track it. I I owned a caddy, like I said, and I just can't imagine this being a long term reliable driver's car. Um, Fifteen thousand miles, fantastic vehicle. I don't think I'd ever want one. Let's see what the comments say. Screams officer, give me a ticket. Console, not scratch. This is a BA wagon spent next 13 hours thinking. Performance in a wagon. This is it. I'm not trying to sell the car. This is not, at least it's not a manual transmission. Yeah, this transmission is not great in this thing. Um, I 
This is like finding a unicorn that was raised on vampire blood and tears of naughty girls. Yeah, it's a fast car sitting 200 miles an hour. Sweet ride. M3, classic driver's car. I'm a big stickler for reliability. Just would never, ever have a BMW of any kind. Maybe an older M5. Um, not, not worth it. Boxster, fairly reliable, excellent beginner's Porsche. Um, the Boxster S is probably a little bit better. It's got a little more power, um, for not much more money. Um, yeah, you can get a great driver's car if you want two seats for that $20,000 range. Yellow's unfortunate. Any of the AMGs are ticking time bombs. Don't know who you ever get to work on the engine for one of them. Same with Jaguar. You'd be better off doing an LS swap if the engine blew. There's plenty of Mercedes and Jaguar friend, fans who would hate on me for saying that, but... Uh, 911, straight up Carrera cab, muscle car, GT500, ooh, that one will get some money. Again, collector car, not a great driver's car. What in the... <laughs> Wow. Wow. We got to go to the comments. 100 comments already. Just imagine picking your kids up from school in this beast. So this Bronco Fab is... Must be a, just a straight custom Bronco guy. Huh. That's crazy. This has got to have some reserve on it somehow, some way. Mess with my mic here a little bit or my headset. It's better. Viper SRT 10. Love it. Great driver's car. 4,000 is collectible. Manual transmission. Again, it's still in the very difficult to keep the rear end on the ground on this one. Hence the giant spoiler. Firebird. Old Corvette ZR1 is a Z. R one three Z R eighty K for a two thousand nine manual transmission four thousand miles track star 
Things a beast. <laughs> what is wrong with some people? I mean, more power to you. Non-running project. Shocker. Two, two grand. Modded. 911 turbo the worst transmission option you can possibly get intake and exhaust system this is actually probably not a bad turbo to get your hands on for a driver's car the wheels are hideous wonder if it has any accidents let's say clean carfax report black doesn't get me going the transmission is awful Be a great GT car. Put a little bit softer suspension on it. Someone is going to get a heck of a deal. Fortune to drive this car on a 200 mile cruise, all road conditions, rocket ship that corners like a cat. Yep. Mmm. <laughs> That one's going to be a steal. I think I'm going to actually log in and track that one. Just out of curiosity, of course. Citroen import car. Impossible to get parts for. LeBaron convertible. Oh, I used to love a good LeBaron. They're like the, um, what is the Michael Scott car? Um, I can't even remember now that there were a million convertibles of. It'll come to me in about five minutes. Or I could just Google it. Sebring, didn't even have to. These are the Sebrings of the 80s. Lots of them out there. Awful vehicles. Classic Carrera manual. Wouldn't be a bad car to have. Blue's pretty nice. Here you go. Let's try to find a decent, relatively new SUV four-wheel drive under 10K. Not happening. 13k for the Jeep. Lightning, these things were so sweet. Side exhaust. Just a beast. Just you and your buddy out in your truck doing burnouts.
Ah, uh, loser. Sorry, any Lightning fans. Ooh. Daddy like. PDK. 20,000 miles. Not a bad driver's GT3. Probably still better off getting a turbo. Surprise, this one is so cheap. Very confident. Pipe dream car for so many. What a car. Nothing wrong with a little trading if painted personally. Look for new blemishes on cars. Tells a story. Nothing is affecting the drivability. Please, someone. Everyone always says that. Drive a, drive it. Drive it like it was meant to be. And I, I agree with it, but <laughs> so few people actually drive these cars. There's another one of the GT in the stand up guy. Car has been garaged. Lo I would love one at one point, but practicality of a Porsche, much less a uh, track Porsche. Um, yeah, the stickers on these GT3s are just not very high. It's the allocation that's hard to get. So, you know, you spend $145,000 on this, but you'll never get one new because you haven't spent enough money or don't know the right people, I guess, is to... The way to put it. You, know, you look at Soda Pop and got his GT3, brand new one. Um, I shouldn't say brand new. Um, he got it through a, a secondhand dealer and he paid, I want to say, over double what MSRP was. Which is nuts, but good for him, but still nuts. Got one of the baddest, baddest cars of any streamer. Other than X. Old BMW. This is part of... No, it's not an M. Movies Garage did a classic M silver BMW lineup. That's pretty cool. Series on YouTube. You should go check that out if you like BMWs. Four-wheel drive truck, 10K. Four-wheel drive SUV, ooh. Of course, it's a Land Rover. Discovery 2, which is one of the worst. I think it's got a bad Ford engine in it. Six K though, not bad for a vehicle it's going to break down all the time engine does not have overheating problems thanks you for clarifying Batson. Those are cool cars. Supposed to be fairly reliable. Kind of a collector's, older school driver's car. All the Datsun Z cars are sweet. Old M6. Sweet ride. Some pictures of it. Again, these old M cars, or any of the old sports cars, are just... There's nice cars. They're cool, but they're not really driver's cars. They're not fast. 
Let's guess the mileage on this one. No reserve, full runner. It's already at 10K. I'm going to guess 185,000 miles. 132, not too bad. Still a lot of money. M3 convertible. Still haven't seen anything super rare. M Sport. Want to blow your neighbor's eardrums out and do some burnouts? Perfect car for you right there. These things have gone up in price like crazy old Wagoneers. My dad had a Wagoneer like that. Older. That's how I learned to drive a stick. A lot of people learn to drive a stick in that car. New Bronco. Two door. It's already at 58.5. Whew, thought I had a sneeze. Let's see what the sticker on it is. MSRP 56. They'll get 60 or 70 for that. I think. I should say MSRP was 56. He probably had to pay, maybe had to pay a markup on it. Um, he'll probably break even on it. Nice Tundra. I'm a big Toyota head, if you haven't guessed. Have a Prius. Waiting on a RAV4. My wife drives a Subaru Ascent, which is not a bad vehicle. It doesn't really get me going. Convertible Turbo S, 996, the very last 996 year, 50K, uh, 70,000 miles. 43, I think Porsches are kind of plateauing. Granted, it still has four hours left, but... And it's a convertible. But it's manual. If you don't know about convertible, especially these older ones, the rigidity of the body on these is so bad that they flex and rotate when you drive them around corners and they really do not grip as well as a uh, hard top. Here we go. Here we go. Wow. Wow. I've never seen one of these on a trailer. I bet this doesn't sell today. I'm going to watch it just to see, but I will put money on it if someone wants to take me up that it does not sell today beautiful car it's kind of got take hand f-150 headlights that are not great but dang is it like a little spoiler in front of the lights V8, though. Absolutely beautiful car. As all Ferraris are. That thing goes like a beast. Yeah, 
And then the Nissan Sentra to follow it up. What? Oh, it's brand new. 400 miles. I think the SER is fast as well. Manual transmission. Oh, faster. Oh. Out of control. Nine nine four. Cayenne Turbo, one of the best ways to get 400 horsepower. Cheapest ways, I should say, not best. Lots of power, lots of noise. Not great reliability, but especially in the uh, suspension, but I think you can get coilovers instead of the air. Yeah, 450 horsepower. Things a beast of a vehicle. Four hundred fifty horsepower for twenty thousand dollars. Not bad. Another turbo that is not super expensive. It's got a ton of bad stuff on it. Bad GT3 bumper, weird is it silver, like, or chrome, and the intakes and mirrors. GT3 wing. Sorry, GT2. Doesn't matter. Hmm. A lot of work getting her back to normal, but again, a lot of power for a little bit of money. Land Cruiser would love one. Taycan Turbo S Cross Sans Ride These are sweet cars, old Grand Nationals. This reminds me of I think it was Grand National Trading Day, wasn't it? 488 Pista. That car will sell today. Brand new GT. Let's see who owned this one. These were all allocated to people who contractually were not el uh, eligible to sell them right away. And a lot of times they will list who the original owner was. Ford, but dang, what a beautiful car. One owner vehicle, 600K original MSRP. They're going to do all right, already at $900,000.
Beautiful ride. That's the cool thing about these cars is the seats are fixed and you slide the steering wheel and the pedals forward or back. I guess a lot of track cars are like that, but. Turbo S cab, that'll go for 140, 150. 2016 GT4s, 85K, that's spendy. Wow. Jaguar F type. That'd be a good cheap way to get a lot of power too. Let's see if it lists how much power it has. <laughs> Five hundred fifty horsepower. But it's Jaguar. All right, I think I'm going to have to wrap it up here. It looks like the little baby is waking up. Scroll fast through here to see if there's anything cool in here. Pick up with a... Viper engine in it. Ugly Jeeps. Another Bronco. Follow that one just out of curiosity. New Vet. New Corvettes are a great way to go real fast for not a lot of money, too. Old Hummer, yes. Newer West Folly, that's pretty cool. Baby's back down. Track Porsche, that's pretty cool. Yeah, 170K. Old Tesla Roadster. Oh, daddy like. New Cyclone. I will drive, or er, turbocharged. Just iconic 90s car. Coworker of mine had the, I think it was just a regular GMC, not the Cyclone version, with this 4.3 liter. And it was just bonkers fast. And you put a turbo on it. It's tiny. And it, I'm sure it handles awful but it launches like a madman for a 90s car focus our assholes pretty cool another bronco just out of curiosity see what those are going for see if the people who are buying them for over msrp are making any money Specialty Vehicle Engineering Model Year Silverado. Celica Aston Martin V8. Uh oh. I know someone who wants that car. Ends in three days.
is. Save that one and send it to him. Panamera Turbo. Also not a bad way to get a lot of horsepower and a really nice handling car. Low miles. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Four owners. Hmm. Wouldn't be a bad driver's car for a man with a family who likes Porsches. You're looking at him. It's a PDK. What does a turbo have for horsepower? Doesn't say. Let's get the comments. Solid, fast, well built car. Can add 100 horsepower to it fairly easy. Wouldn't sell mine for 60. Suspension settings are fun to play with. Dallas Fort Worth, here we come. Twenty ten Panamera Turbo. Five hundred. I will drive. Get her done. Watch. I was in it watching. Old GT collectors. Old LX, almost bought one of these. Basically the same one for guaranteed less mileage for like 9,000. No, about the same. That one says 90,000 miles. But oh, just out of control expensive right now. Still follow. Old Prado. That's pretty cool. Right hand drive. What the heck is this? Polaris, Minnesota, Midwest. Wow. I don't know who on Bring a Trailer is going to buy this. But I'll keep my yapper shut since it already has a ton of bids. Boring, boring, Prowler. Can't believe Chrysler put that out. That's a ridiculous car. On to S2000s, out of control price. Thanks a lot. Fast and the Furious. Mm. 
911 Turbo S. Supra. It's not too bad. Compared to some of the other ones I've seen. 90,000 miles. Again, thinks a lot. Fast and Furious. Ooh, import. Right-hand drive. That's probably why it's a little more affordable. Old NSX. Jerry Seinfeld. Old Porsche. Here's one of the M5s I would have, probably the only BMW I'd ever get. Super popular car. Fairly reliable when you get them sorted. Unfortunately, it does not have the stock wheels. One of the best stock wheels of all times. Yeah, sweet car. It'll go for 25. A lot of people wait on those. GT3 race car. Old Lamborghini tractor. If you don't know this about Lamborghinis and, or any car company that either made tractors or um, airplane engines or airplanes. BMW was a airplane engine manufacturer. Then after they lost the war, they were forced to quit and make cars. And that's why their symbol is this was a actually a symbol of a prop rotating. Old Lancer, it's a pretty sweet car. Snooze, old M3, that's not too bad. Those are pretty cool. 2002 senior in high school. I think they were one of the highest horsepower per liter engines at the time. 30K for a 50,000 mile Lexus. And it's the green too. Oof. Beautiful. That'll go for big bucks. Here's the GNX. One of the first, history lesson for you, first turbo um, sport-ish cars um, made by an American manufacturer. And yeah, 200K, super collectible, awesome cars. New Velociraptor. Let's see what that goes for. Lifted Forerunner. V12 Benz, that's pretty sick. Forfait by Italia. God, there's a lot of cars on here. I remember when I used to first come on this website, there'd be like 50 cars. San Luis Obispo, I've been there. Um, and now it's just out of control. A lot of it has to do with COVID, um, post-COVID used car prices, but lifted Cayenne. Supposed to be surprisingly reliable. 
and not too bad of an off-roader for what it is. Wow, that sob is ridiculous. 20K. Wonder if it has any bids or that's just the starting price. Hundred fourteen comments. Wow. I don't know anything about this car, but apparently it's a pretty hot ticket. Hmm. Cool ride. S4 wagon. Sprinter van, mobile office, love that van life. Be interesting to see what that goes for on here. Another Vantage that I could probably get someone to buy. Yes, that's a sweet van. I think Hoovy bought this one. I mean, for what it is, basically supercar performance for 90K is a pretty amazing vehicle. Man, a lot of cars on here. Five days out. Save that turbo just out of curiosity. All right, this is the last one. Then we'll wrap it up. One hundred seventy K. Watch it. See what happens. All right, I'm going to get going. Check me out on YouTube.
Discord, Twitter, be posting there. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good weekend.